one person was saying like I'm like indirectly doing porn I would say like it's not really porn point it's like an art because like everyone kind of like has their own way of expressing themselves only fans you know like the way they take pictures the way they dress up and stuff so like not really a porn yeah it's more like art It's basically like social media with like subscription but like a lot of people associate OnlyFans with like sexual stuff like you know like cosplay or like lewd stuff and if they want to like pay more they can pay more for more content you know. There are two types of customs I do. One is where they only tell me what I should be doing but not like what I say so they tell like oh can you like do this cosplay and you know can you act like sexy or like can you do like a girlfriend point of view you know like POV um, then I'm like okay then sometimes people tell me like oh can you like say this 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 like you know with my name in it then I'm like okay but then that's like extra money you know Hi, did you sleep well today? Mm -hmm. Oh, you had a nightmare? Mm, I know what to do. You can just, you know, sleep on my leg. Come here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of time, uh, fans expect any creator to do stuff that we are not comfortable with. Um, example, this is a really like a weird um, custom content order that I got one day. They wanted me to poop in a bag. They offered me 5k, um, but I'm not gonna uh, poop in a bag for 5k. <laughs> One of my subs requested me to cosplay one of his favorite anime, which is Kagaguri. And at first, I was kind of like hesitant to do it. I didn't know if I wanted to spend money or not. But fortunately, I have a school dress and I only need to like buy a red jacket. So hopefully I can find one soon and I can do his request. This custom content isn't loot at all. A lot of stuff happens just for pictures. So for right now, I'll be charging you around 60 to 70. It is fun. I would say 80% of the time it's fun. The 20% is like when I hit the slums and it's all fun. I think my mental state was really like so bad to a point that you know I I I can't like I can't I couldn't even imagine like myself eating food. Like the thought of eating food made me like vomit, you know. I used to like um, purge my food, which isn't that good for your body. And I couldn't really like even look at like my body because I felt so disgusted. You know, and like couldn't even take picture. And there are days where I feel really sexy, you know, because of OnlyFans. And like my confidence has gone up. And it's not like I'm looking for validation, but it's nice to hear, oh, you know, you dress nice, oh, you look good. Uh, my mother has like, you know, my mom has like really like taught me how to be confident because like I see her, you know, um, and I see her being confident in her own skin and that makes me feel like if she can do it, then maybe I can do that too. So I really didn't know what is all that. So she uh, told me like, you know, this is how, this is how, this is how it is. So I said, fine, as far as you are enjoying it, it is done aesthetically good not in a like you know mm, way wherein like you know you yourself will be embarrassed later in life because sometimes you don't know you know the things just come round <laughs> when you don't want it absolutely so she said no mama I know what I'm doing I'm comfortable and I will not do any such thing like you know which will embarrass me myself so I trust her so in that case I'm fine yeah she does share of course with me 
or pictures and like you know all that also <laughs> i see a lot of creativity i was like wow so nice that i started sharing with my friends and my sister you know but of course i am worried as a parent but also i trust her and over a period of years i have seen that she has become a bit more mature and responsible and at the end of the day is always an individual like you know meaning we all are just there to support we are just like a passing but is always an individual who has to then take the repercussion whatever it is i take break here and there you know whenever i feel like you know my mental health is deteriorating because it's quite like um you know when you see your friends and then you compare yourself you tend to compare yourself you know like with like how many people follow them um how good content they make or like how good their body looks you know um but now i feel like i'm getting better cuz i'm trying to you know like tell myself that you know like it's okay to have flaws it's not uh, you don't have to always be perfect 